Now let's start uploading the images to the database. So we can say upload images. We will initialize an integer type variable using which we can count the images. We will run a for each loop on our images list. One by one we will pick the image from it. So our images list which is underscore image. Set stat and value equals to i divide by underscore images list dot length we will create a reference to the database dot reference dot child Inside the database, we will create a folder by the name images to which we will save one by one each image. And to each image, we will give to it a unique name so that it do not replace to any other image which other user will upload or if the same user decide to edit his profile. So for that purpose, we can give the unique name we will use the time as a unique key or as a unique name for our image so we can simply say that time dot dot now dot millisecond since epoch dot to string because you know that time one pass can never be recalled that is this time we can use as a unique key because it will never come again that same second that same a millisecond that same minute hour day time okay it will never be called again it will never repeat again so the best way is to use time as a image name okay and then of course at the end of the image we will use jpg dot jpg so each image will have its own unique name so as we have the reference now we can put file that is start uploading so our image is as you know that one by one we are picking the image from our images list by this img so we can variable okay so you can say img that is the first image then the second image the third image fourth image and then the fifth image one by one we are uploading it so for example it is now the first image and then as you know we are inside the for each loop so this for each loop will execute five times that is upload five images so when the image is uploaded then we have to wait and get the download URL so we can say reference images dot get download URL dot then so the URL which you will get that will comes inside this so URL image so that URL image we have to add to our URL list as you know five images we have so one by one when the image is uploaded let's say the first image uploaded successfully we get the download URL we add that URL image to our this list then the for each loop execute for the second time the second image it pick it upload we get the second image URL we add it to this list up to five images okay it will repeat that is for the third time it will execute the third image it pick it upload it and we get the URL and we add that here then for the fourth time it execute it pick the pick fourth image the fourth image when uploaded successfully the fourth image download URL we get we add it to this list then for the fifth time it execute we it pick the fifth image the fifth image it upload and we get the fifth image URL and we add it to our this list so it will execute only five times as we allow only the user to pick five images 
and now after the URL list dot add make sure to increment our i variable now from where we will call this method the, we will call this from our button which we have here the next button which is in the app bar so we can say first show dialog that is as you know it will took some time to upload so till then we have to show the user some progress so context context builder context return let's return a circular progress indicator we will wrap this inside a center widget and then we will wrap this circular progress indicator inside a column widget and after that let's display some text alongside with it that will be uploading images or you can say please wet so yeah that's it then after it if you want of course you and then after the show dialog we can call upload images